And I uh, walked back to the subway to go back into town and start school at nine o'clock. Mm -hmm. And as I walked, I felt this thing coming up on the side and there was a shiny black Lincoln with limousine <laughs> coming up and the guy stuck his head out and said, are you going to the city? I said, no, I'm going to the train. He said, I'll take you into the city. So I jumped in. He was an American ambassador. So he stopped there and he said, tell me what you do and what are you doing? What are your thoughts? What do you think you might want to do? And on the way in, which was a good half hour, I suppose, uh, we talked about it and he said, I really think with that background and that interest in it, you should come to the States because I think you could do a lot of work there. You could learn something, but I think you could teach them a lot. I came here absolutely knowing nothing about this country. I claimed when people said, what are you coming for? <clears throat> I said, I want to study contemporary American design, not knowing that it simply did not exist. Modern is something we don't want. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I think very often you can talk in architecture, you don't talk about so much about modern architecture as contemporary architecture. That simply means that is fitted to the time we are living in now. I think modern is a, a, a way of showing what I consider, or artists consider, or designers consider, the way we ought to lead our lives today. Something that is designed to be manufactured mm -hmm. to give you the greatest satisfaction. At no point in architecture or design have people gone backwards and said, I want the chairs, or I want the dining table, or I want the cabinet, as people had 250 years ago. It makes no sense, and it shouldn't be. He assumed that it was uncomfortable. He assumed that he didn't want the furniture. He had assumed that it didn't work. And suddenly, they were in an atmosphere of design, and maybe good colors, or uh, attractive pictures on the wall. Suddenly, a whole new world opened up for him. And suddenly you realize, say, you know, this might not be so bad, or this might even be good, or this might even work, and maybe we should get it. And in that, almost all of the cases, we or one of the two other manufacturers would end up getting the order. I was doing a few jobs for decorators or architects, individual pieces on jobs and so on. And I ran into Hans Noel at one of the places, mm -hmm. and it turned out later on, I realized what it turned out to be. We met by chance. Mm -hmm. He was looking for me, and I was looking for him. <laughs> we didn't realize that. Yeah. I was looking for somebody who could sell, was a good salesman, good promoter, mm -hmm. and had a place to show it. Mm -hmm. He was looking for somebody who knew manufacturing and knew design and could design something. And then as people came out of the army, this was important, this contemporary style, they could understand better than the ones who had not been in the army mm -hmm. because they had seen army equipment, including mm -hmm. guns and shafts, everything else, and something simple like a mess kit or a knife or this. Right. That was designed better, better in practice. All of that was better uh, in contemporary than it would be before. Well, there were all kinds of restrictions right. on what, what you could do, what you could buy, mm -hmm. and what you could sell and, and generally get it. Mm -hmm. And you could only get certain softwoods and mm -hmm. certain papers that have been cancelled out. And when it comes to upholstery and seating, mm -hmm. uh, springs were out, fillings were out, you couldn't right. do that. The military needed and everything. that's when I began to remember Alto, yeah. uh, who has okay. done his web chairs. Yeah. And we looked for webbing, and it turned out that webbing was fine, except wedding you couldn't buy because it was by the army mm -hmm. for, for parachute use. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, and as a lucky again, I learned that a lot of the webbing submitted to the army for, fa for uh, parachute mm -hmm. was not accepted by the army because it didn't meet the stress test. Right. Well, we were not concerned with the stress test in a chair. Mm -hmm. And we could then buy that. It was all out of draft green. 
and we bought that, and then we experimented with dyeing and so on. But that was something which was wonderful. Mm -hmm. We did that really made the design right. which was had not used except for the ones who knew alto. Mm -hmm. They had not seen webbing used. 